Not Inspector General of Police Mohammed Adamu and Ohaneze Ndibu, a social political group, have disagreed over the modus operandi of community policing in the country. The IGP spoke at the end of Southeast Security Summit held in Enugu, saying special of officers will be recruited as community police. He said these officers will be under the control of the Nigeria Police Force. The IGP said, and I quote, the community policing model is one that will draw on the legal opportunities provided by the Police Act for the engagement of special constables who will be engaged as community policing officers under the coordination of the Nigerian Police Force towards evolving a community-focused policing architecture, end of quote. However, President General of Ohane Zendibo Nyamudu disagreed with this position. He appealed for the creation of South East Security Force to be known as Operation Obunigwe. And with me now in the studio is uh, Dixon Osaje, who is a security expert, and Abayomi Ashiwajoke, who is a public affairs analyst. Good to have you, gentlemen, in the yeah, studio. Thank you. Nice being here. Now, let's talk about the security issues. You, you saw the news. You listened to it as we read on. And I could see you, Osaje, not in, uh, whether in agreement or in disagreement. But I'll ask you very quickly, what are your thoughts on the police, uh, community policing, even as Ohanez and Dibo are disagreeing on the position that is there? Okay, um, first of all, we, first, uh, we need to accept that uh, uh, the threat rate in the, the nation is on the high rise, mm -hmm. uh, the risk implications on the high rise, uh, the killing implications on the high rise, and uh, we are losing uh, Nigerians every day. And uh, we first of all need to uh, understand that Nigeria is a very big nation That's uh, on a landmark of about 923 square kilometers. And uh, we have about uh, um, we have a lot of ungoverned spaces, and one of the vulnerability facing the Nigerian state is the ungoverned space, uh, because most of these criminal elements, what they do is to strike and run to the ungoverned space. The ungoverned mm -hmm. space are the bushes, uh, where they have no police presence, where you have no military presence, and uh, if we have more governed space than the governed space, uh, the spirit of insecurity will continue to to rise. Mm -hmm. But on the community policing, uh, it's a work on development and. Uh, when we talk about security, security is in totality the freedom of danger. And any organization or state or community that intends to provide solutions in whatever means to protect the loss of lives and property must be encouraged and it's a work on development. Uh, because most people want to control their access in and out. And controlling your access in any given environment is a good development as well. Because when we talk about access control, it's all measures, all in question. We use the word all simply implies that whatever you know, be, will be used technologically or mechanically mm -hmm. to mitigate the spate of insecurity should be a work on development. So if the South East are coming up on board to uh, uh, manufacture their own community policing, it's going to be a good one because we must understand that community policing is having that close relationship, close interaction uh, with uh, the citizens. If you ask me or I ask you, uh, who is your nearest, nearest DPO, mm -hmm. you might not know the name of your DPO in your, within your, your vicinity. Why? Because you have no cause to visit the police station. But in community policing, this uh, community and the police will have a very good relationship. I'll be able to communicate to the uh, to the uh, pol to, to the police guys. They'll be able to meet me, we interact. They will provide solutions on the spirit of insecurity and ensure that things go properly. All right, I will just come to you uh, very okay. quickly. I understand that the chairman of the Ohanez Ndibo is also on the line waiting. But very quickly, before we get to him, do you share the same sentiments? Yes, I, I, subscribe, I subscribe to what he said. Um, but uh, my own issue is about the people involved in um, the community policing. Are they still not Nigerians? Uh, I have, uh, since Amoteku and the likes have, uh, you know, uh, have been a topic of discussion, I have seen some Nigerians showing interest mm -hmm. that, oh, I want to join Amoteku, I want to join the regional security outfit of the Southwest. Not with the right mindset, however. Well, I will come back to you on that question. Okay. How sure and how certain, how did we arrive at that? But now with me uh, on the line is a spokesperson for Ohanese. He joins us via a phone conversation. Good morning, Mr. Chooks Ibegu. Good morning. Right, uh, let's go straight to the matter. The Inspector General of the Police, in line with the bid to create community policing, held a security uh, meeting in Enugu. What's your thoughts on this? Yes, the Inspector General of Police uh, was there, was in Enugu to interface with uh, the people of the Southeast, the Governor's Coda, on the community policing and security uh, in the, the Southeast zone. 
we welcome the, uh, this development. Um, the challenges in the country is uh, very, very uh, appalling. And the people of South East uh, felt they need to get their ass together, just like uh, the people of South East uh, recently. And um, the Special General Police had to come and uh, interface with the stakeholder. And uh, we in the South East believe that the people have to take their destiny into their hands. We wouldn't have to wait to be slaughtered, we wouldn't have to wait to uh, be annihilated before we take a positive uh, uh, action to protect uh, life and property. Uh, we know that um, the uh, constitutional uh, uh, need to protect life and, uh, uh, life and property is the role of the police. But the police is overwhelmed by the challenges, the crucial challenges uh, uh, everywhere. So the, uh, the people have to organize themselves. Uh, if you call it community police, uh, fine. Uh, whatever name you uh, have it, uh, as long as lives and properties are protected. So uh, we welcome the uh, intervention of the general police. Uh, the uh, South East, the Hanes and uh, uh, the governor and the, every other stakeholder in the South East believe it is our, it's our right to protect our people. Mr. Mr. Ibegu, uh, you just mentioned that the police officers are overwhelmed. However, President General of your group, uh, Niamudu, disagreed with the idea of recruiting special officers and suggesting, uh, suggested having Operation Obunigwe, Obunigwe I believe, uh, which is weapon of mass destruction. Am I correct? Uh, definitely. Now, definitely. can you expansiate on how this would work? Well, uh, we, uh, that was a suggestion by the President General of Hades and uh, that we call our own uh, outfit operation Obunigwe, and uh, the operation will have the uh, blessings of the, the stakeholders and the governors of the, of the region. Uh, uh, we will have to uh, equip our young, uh, our young men uh, that will be in the, the line of duty uh, uh, to uh, understand the imperatives of intelligence gathering and uh, uh, protection of our people. And um, the, uh, the policy for the operational bullying where if uh, finally adopted, uh, will be uh, spread out and will uh, follow a uh, you know, due process after uh, consultation with uh, all stakeholders. All right, we also see, of course, uh, Operation Amoteko and also some parts of the north with Shege Kapasa. Now, do you feel the South East is ready for its own security network like Operation Amoteko and maybe uh, the one from the north? Do I think that will happen? Do you feel uh, that uh, the South East is ready for its own um, security outfits just like Amoteko or Shege Kapasa from the north? Uh uh, the, every every uh, part of the country has their own um, uh, uh, capacities and their own mode of operation. Uh, the South East is uh, uh, not uh, unaware of the challenges that uh, the uh, is, uh, suggested uh, uh, operation for Bully where we take. Uh, we are very well equipped. We are very uh, 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 we are. Uh, fully uh, prepared to uh, 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 operationalize this uh, 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 suggestion if the uh, stakeholders uh, 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 you know, work out the modality. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, finally, you know, in having the conversation, the uh, summit that uh, you both engaged with the police, um, the governor, your spokesperson rather, mentioned that the Southeast has got its own peculiar challenges, you know, while requesting to be allowed uh, to begin Operation Ubuningwe. Now, what's your advice to the governors in the Southeast on tackling these peculiar security challenges uh, for the Southeastern states? Well, the, our advice to the governors of the Southeast is to remain firm and uh, to interface with uh, other stakeholders and um, the vigilante uh, from, uh, uh, that is already of, uh, in various uh, communities in Ibo land. We have to uh, make it uh, a regional-wide um, uh, structure 
Of course, we know that uh, presently maybe uh, communities have their vigilante, but we have to get it, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 to become a regional affair, and the mortalities are, uh, you know, set out properly so that we have a uniform, uh, a, a uniform conflation in the entire uh, southeast region. Uh, we are advised the governors, they are the two officers of their states, and uh, uh, that uh, they have to uh, 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 work out the modalities in, in tandem with uh, the vision of the stakeholders in the region, your highness in this world, other uh, and stakeholders in the region. And of course, we are not um, saying that the police and the security agents uh, should not be involved, and so it is a complementary. Uh, efforts. We are assisting them to do their uh, policing and security work. All right, Chooks Ibeegu, spokesperson of Ohana, is speaking to us from Abia State. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you, my sister. All right. Uh, we'll come back to our guest still in studio. That's uh, Osaji, security expert, and uh, Abayomi Oke, yes. who's a public affairs yes. analyst. Before we went to speak to the spokesperson there, Mr. Ibegu, you were mentioning that every you've heard, oh, there are people clamoring to join the yes. Amotekun security outfit. And you also mentioned that uh, they are clamoring for it, not uh, with the right mindset. And I'm yes. there to ask, <clears throat> how did you arrive at that? All right. Uh, of course, I'm on ground. When I say I'm on ground, I, I have my ears on the ground. I listen. I, I relate with people and I get feedback. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, allegedly, those um, sponsoring insecurity in the land, those are sponsoring insecurity. insecurity, yes, in the land, are already preparing their boys to join the security outfit. You may say that they are planning to infiltrate um, the security outfit, yes, because that has always been the issue. When a situation like this happens, you see big boys, big men in town, those who are allegedly, like I said, uh, you know, sponsoring insecurity, they will put their boys, they will ensure that their boys are fixed into the military or into the paramilitary. So that um, whenever they are about to be nabbed, there will always be an insider that would, you know, walk their way out of issues like that. So that's exactly what is in place now. The mindset of the young folks or the mindset of the people that are saying, I want to join Amotekun, is not right. It's not for the right reasons. It's just Are you saying all of them, or you're saying some, some of them, or some, there could be elements? Some of them, yes. Mm -hmm. I can't possibly say all, you understand? Some of them. So that's the issue. Because even if you, if, even if you employ more police, just like um, what um, the IG is saying about the South, is that they want to get in more constables. Constables from where? From the community, right? Mm -hmm. From somebody who, who has this mindset of, oh, government hasn't been treating me well, but by the time I get into government, I need to also take my own portion of the big cake, as the case may be, of the, of the national cake. So the right mindset is not there, I've uh, been issued. So, and that's where the problem has always been. It's always about the people. You know, it's always about our, cultural, uh, our culture as, as Nigerians. We don't always see the right um, objective or the right reason to go into anything that we want to do. And at the end of the day, the whole process uh, becomes, it goes back to where we are coming from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let me come back to you. Uh, I know you're a security expert. How do we manage intelligence in this kind of situation to be able to sift the good, uh, you know, the bad from the good? So we don't run into the danger of having good intentions, but, you know, it's sabotaged or put uh, in jeopardy. I think uh, Asuwaju made a very uh, important point. Uh, he was talking about uh, people who sponsor crimes, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, we classified as conflict entrepreneurs. Uh, what they do is to ensure they uh, uh, feed from conflict, they live by conflict, and they also uh, make their living from conflict. Yes, I will not overrule his statement because it's a very, very uh, sensitive uh, position here because uh, I think I was on a global channel and I also made mention of that uh, uh, vetting uh, uh, applications when it mm -hmm. comes to uh, recruitment of these guys that are going to uh, take care of, of the state. Uh, we need to have an effective background check on these guys. We need to also have an effective uh, uh, vetting on these guys. Then we'll also work on our societal attitude in our change because he is saying that uh, uh, we are bringing people in from the society to come and also be in their moteco. We still have these citizens. They are not special people from abroad. They are right. not special people from uh, our neighboring countries. Mm -hmm. They are still 
Nigerians. So the problem we've been suffering in this country is societal attitudes in a change. Until we work on the attitude of our citizens, we will not get things right. If you like, bring a motorcycle, bring Dogotoku, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, or bring a shake a kapasa, or whatever the case may be. If the mind, the attitude is not worked upon, we will still have problem. And that is the same issue we're going to have in the police. That is the same issue we're going to have in the Amoteku or the, what's it called, uh, uh, Shege Kapasa or mm. Bonigwe. Mm. Now, uh, coming to the community policing as in uh, uh, Bonigwe, uh, the man uh, you just spoke with now, the Ohanese spokesperson, yes. uh, he made one or two uh, clarifications and you asked him a very uh, intelligent questions. Thank you. And uh, his response was, uh, was okay to me. Uh, I think I was privileged to, uh, when I was in the military, uh, uh, during the time of the Operation Bakasi Boys, mm -hmm. uh, yes, um, I was in the 82 Division, Armored Battalion, and uh, we saw a lot of uh, atrocities these uh, community guys, uh, these guys uh, perpetrated against the state, most especially in Indonesia, you know. And uh, I think there was a time they even uh, killed a, a soldier mm. who just arrived from Syria alone or Liberia, and that resulted to a very uh, serious issue because of their traditional uh, means of application in the sense that they believe that uh, when they put a sword on you, they're going to dictate mm -hmm. if you are a criminal or not a criminal. If they are going to establish their own Obanigwe or what is it called, they mm -hmm. must take off traditional means of uh, security applications because that is where the state government needs to put interest on. Because when we look at it, if we look at traditional, uh, traditional is man, it's man, you understand? Because mm -hmm. the best of man is man. Uh, you can't expect to get results uh, uh, spiritually from a man because you want to investigate somebody and your juju tells you that <laughs> yes, this person is a criminal, is a and you go ahead and uh, 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 neutralize that person or kill that person. I will not ex uh, accept that in this 21st century because those were one part of the lapses mm -hmm. that uh, transpired during the uh, Bakasi Peninsula. So, first of all, uh, I also agree with the IG. The uh, community policing needs to be uh, well monitored by the Nigerian police, mm -hmm. and uh, they should also understand their modus operandi and mm -hmm. also the uh, applications. What application are you bringing on board? And the people you are going to employ, what training are, going to, are they going to receive? You just took my last question, my, yeah. my, my yeah. next question yeah. out of my mouth. Yes. All right. What training are they going to be? Are they going to receive? Because training is very, very essential. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why uh, most advanced country uh, develops or uh, excel in their security application is training. You understand? Because if we're going to bring them aboard, what are you going to train them about? Are you going to train them on intelligence gathering? Are you going to train them on crisis management? For example, there's an incident now. How do you psychologically manage crisis? Are you going to train them on crime and incident scene procedures? Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of trainings that I expected these guys to undergo because because you are going to deal with the Nigerian people, you are going to deal with the Nigerian state, and uh, a state in which you will be uh, radical in your operation should not be a work on development. Mm. Uh, thank you so very much. I will come back to you okay. because uh, uh, Saji just took my next question All out right. of my mouth. But however, <laughs> Sorry we will, about that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we will still look at it again. Okay. Because we've heard so much about the recruitment. Mm. We've heard so less of training. Mm. We've not even heard anything about training. We've not heard, oh, these guys have been deployed or we're getting experts to train them. Should we be worried that in the end, it will just be reinventing the wheel? Uh, you see, um, talking about training, uh, thank God there is, a, there is a security expert and I have some of my friends who are in the police and um, also in the uh, military. They, they, they go through these trainings that you talked about. I've had them talk about even psychology. They, they do a lot during their you know, training exercise. And one would expect that when they come out of the training college or by the time they are commissioned, they should begin to truly um, you know, serve with integrity and protect. But that's for the, the conventional security conventional apparatus. Security, yes. We are talking of this. I know. Okay. You know, coming from them, for, coming from that angle, yet even after the training, okay. they still don't display the kind of um, capacity that we expect of them, even after the training. So let alone picking, okay, guys who probably some of them um, out of no choice. When I say no choice, I know there is no job now in Nigeria and uh, any opportunity to work with government is something that everybody wants to, you know, um, you know jump at. Mm -hmm. It's a situation whereby even in Nigeria, as we speak today, um, state traffic law enforcement agencies are beginning to stop vehicles and ask for their papers. Is that part of their job, you know, description. Uh, job description? So anybody who gets a uniform these days now begin, you know, have this tendency to misbehave, regardless of the training. So I still come back to the issue of national reorientation, you know, changing the mindset of the people. I, mean, I don't know how we can go about it. Of course, there is NOA, National Orientation Agency, who uh, we believe that um, government has saddled with res responsibility of um, you know, national reorientation and uh, passing information to people. Mm -hmm. They still need to do more. Come down to the grassroots, engage influencers, social influencers, community influencers, who can begin to change the mindset and orientation of our young people. And it must start 
from the primary school. That's what we call the asset-based approach. Mm -hmm. And you see a human being as an asset and begin to groom them. You know, part of the youth development thing. Begin to groom them and let them see reason why they should love their country. Let them see reason why they should love their neighbor. Let them see reason why they should serve their, serve their country with all level of responsibility and integrity. Then probably in the next future or in the, in the next uh, coming years, we'll begin to have responsible adults who will take ownership of this country called Nigeria. Mm. And then, you know, shape it to a stage that we can all say that, oh, this is the Nigeria of our dreams. But until then, training or no training, I doubt if those that will be um, recruited into Amoteko or any other form of regional security outfit in Nigeria will deliver as we expect. Hmm. Okay, so I'll still come to you, uh, uh, Osaji there. Now, we, we are here in Amotekun. We, uh, we've heard uh, Shege Kapasa from the north and the southeast also, they have come with Operation Ubunigwe. So that's mass destruction, right? Yes, weapon yeah. of mass destruction. That's why I had to ask him to clarify. And that's what it means. Actually, it translates to weapon of mass destruction, Ubunigwe. Now, so it means that security indeed is a huge issue for us as a people, as a nation, collectively even individually, yes. Now, uh, the question is, as a security expert, how do you think these outfits will be able to synchronize with uh, the conventional security apparatus that we have, the police, the uh, NSCDC, all of those conventional ones that we have known, how are they going to come together and merge such that we see a collaboration not competition, and we don't see even the conventional uh, security apparatus become redundant, so to speak. Thank you for that intelligent question. Uh, uh, Asuwa, you just made one or two valid uh, uh, points in respect of, uh, uh, what was it called, uh, training. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, we, we cannot overrule training irrespective of uh, our attitude or mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what we need to look at is that uh, we need to have a very good, strong disciplinary measures. Uh, the reason why we are going uh, scot-free with crime is that our punishment measure in this country is not effective. Now, mm -hmm. for example, in, uh, in, in, the, in the foreign land where uh, most of us used to go and enjoy holidays, uh, if you drive against uh, traffic or over speed, in the next few minutes you receive a bill. Mm -hmm. If you uh, go against uh, a government law, you'll be punished. Now, we need to look into our punishments. You understand? Because uh, if our society, our people, get to understand that uh, punishment is also part of a, a reward to their um, um, misconduct, they will begin to b behave properly. Uh, because we have what we call general deterrence and specific deterrence. Uh, specific deterrence in the sense that uh, people who commit crime should be should, should paid for it. Uh, uh, that is why the judicial system needs to uh, sit to the board. Uh, because uh, part of the reason why the spirit of insecurity is thriving is also uh, uh, judicial, uh, the judicial system. Uh, because our judicial system are weak. I was in my friend's office a few days back, and uh, he was just glamouring that uh, he's not happy what went wrong. That's what happened. A matter that was heard a few months back was adjourned to 2022, mm. which implies 2022. that 2022, 2022, uh, which implies that a, a, a mother who is conceived now, uh, by that time the child will be three years old, mm. and now this has a negative effect to the society. For presuming, for example, I'm, uh, I'm, it's my own matter, and I'm seeking for justice so that I can be able to, uh, you know, invest my asset back to the uh, uh, to the country and have a living. And uh, this matter has been uh, postponed to three years. I will fall to crime or fall to any possible means to survive. So the judicial system should be held accountable because uh, they've disappointed us a big deal in this country. They play a very big role when it comes to uh, security management. Looking at integration, as you earlier said, mm -hmm. uh, in respect of the uh, uh, Moteko, mm -hmm. Obanigwe, and the South South. Uh, is very, very, very important because uh, the, it, presently our present security as architecture is suffering from the question you just asked. There's mm -hmm. no uh, information sharing, there's no unity, they don't have a command central, com a command control center, a unified command control center because every agency has their own command control center. But what about the unified command control center? A unified command control center is a system whereby intelligence sharing uh, will be shared among all the security agencies. If I'm going to police barrack now, I think they should be able to know that somebody is stepping into this barrack who has a case with the Nigerian army. If I'm going to the army barrack, they should be able to understand that this guy has an issue uh, with the uh, Nigerian uh, immigration. So we need to also integrate uh, technology in our uh, security management. 
if we mm. integrate technology, it's going to be a very good one because it will also curtail crime. Because Nigerian believes that uh, they are not identified when they commit crime. You, when you commit a crime, you should be identified anywhere in the world. And that is why I solely kick against the visa regime that was uh, introduced by introduced. this present government. Because we have a very high speed of insecurity and we're bringing in visa regime. And that is going to be detrimental to our survivor. Oh, thank you so very much, uh, Osaje and Abayomi. Okay. We will...